to our YouTube channel. Hope you're doing amazing as always. If you're new here, my name is Jess and my husband's name is Sam. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, a little fun, a little funky. I like to watch James Charles and I saw that he did a video like a while back where he did a full face makeup just using Dollar Tree um, products or like makeup you find at the Dollar Tree. And I thought that'd be so fun to try and just see like if we find anything that's actually like that works pretty good, but it's super cheap. So anyways, I have a bag full of makeup that I got the other day and we're just gonna get right into it. We have a lot of fun things that I'm actually like really excited to try. I'm gonna show you guys, I have a ton of stuff that I got while I was there and all of it was under $20. And that's even with it being like $1.25 now for each thing. So anyways, I'm super excited. This isn't from the Dollar Tree, just a makeup remover wipe because I have a little bit of mascara on and I wanna make sure my Face is totally nude starting out. So let's take this off. Got the mascara off and I'm gonna go in just with their foundation. They didn't have something that looked like my shade so I got like a light one and then the other dark one they had and I'm just gonna have to like mix it until it gets to something close. And then I have a beauty blender that I got there that we're gonna use to be applying it. So I'm gonna get this wet real fast and then we'll start mixing the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna say so far, I'm actually super impressed by this because I've gotten like cheap blenders before i don't even know where but they've been like really hard but this feels like pretty soft and it's new so i feel like it's gonna be more firm when you like first get it but i feel like it should soften up as you as you use it also i just want to throw out there that i'm definitely not a makeup artist or professional so if i do anything weird or funky i'm sorry pray for me while i try to make this match my skin tone I don't know if that really matches, but I feel like I feel like we can get it to work. So I'm just gonna go with this. Definitely not anything great to look at, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. Okay, let's see how this covers. Okay, so I'm gonna say I feel like we're getting somewhere with it. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm using a new sponge or not, because I know that might have um, play a role in this, but I feel like it's taking like the majority of this foundation, which was like a ton. But again, that might just be because. It's a new beauty blender and it's soaking up the product. Oh gosh, I'm looking up close and it, I don't know. Don't know if I like how this looks. We're just gonna, we're gonna try to blend it out up close. I feel like it looks pretty bad. <laughs> I'll take a picture of what my skin looks like up close so you guys can see, but I don't know if I'm very impressed with how the foundation has been applying. Okay, in hindsight, I don't know exactly what I was expecting from a dollar foundation but oh dear like i feel like this is worse than like i was hope like it i don't know i feel like it looks bad okay next up we're going in with this pressed face powder and again like i feel like it was just like didn't even show the shade it's just white. Okay, so I don't really mind the powder actually. I feel like it goes on the brush well. It's not like nothing's picking up. I mean, my makeup's like from far away, I feel like you can't tell. But when I get close up to the mirror, I can still see all the foundation that looks like super blotchy and, and spotty and just awful. But the powder, I feel like this could have potential. Okay, next we're gonna go in with some bronzer. This is like the only, they had this like these really sparkly ones. They didn't really have anything that didn't have shimmer in it. And this was like the best color I could get too, but I feel like it's not great. So I'm kind of scared when it comes to this. Like, oh no, it's pretty sparkly and I usually like just like a, like a flat shaded brown bronze. So, okay. That's not terrible. It's like there's good pigment there. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna give me a little bronze. Oh dear. That's the thing. That's the reason why I don't really like it being sparkly is because then it's like all over my face sparkly when, when I just want to contour. That definitely has pigment. Not sure how I feel about the color. Like I said, I'm not a makeup guru or anything, so I'm sorry if the lighting is like terrible and you guys can't even like tell what I'm doing. We're gonna get some blush now. This actually looks like a really pretty blush. It's also sparkly, so I usually don't use sparkly blushes, but I don't mind that as much as the, as the bronzer. Also, everything I've used so far has been like their LA Colors makeup, except for the pressed powder. This is like some infused Be Pure brand. And then anything else, I'll let you guys know. But this is 
in LA's color is highlight cheeks. I don't know. Toast. In color toast. Okay, and I always think it's so funny when they come with like, when blushes come with brushes like this. Like what? How can you explain to me how on earth anyone is gonna use this to put blush on their cheeks? Like, see how small that is? Like you're just gonna get some strokes. Like maybe you could do funky eyeshadow with that. But anyways, I just think that's hilarious. I think we're getting a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it's hard to see like what these products would do on like a good foundation because what we got going on is a rub. Oh! I'm gonna put a little too much on, but that's okay. I usually do that and then I will blend it out again. I usually like blend everything out with this. Oh shoot, guys, I got like one of these that I really wanted to try. I've never tried a sponge like this. You know, I don't think I could even judge this sponge off like this foundation because this was so bad. Like I didn't even want to use it for concealer because it was just like so terrible. I don't know, this is kind of funky too. It has like a little like lip. Can you guys see that? But like what can you expect when you're just like spending that much? Next I have an LA Colors eyeshadow palette. This one's called Almost Nude. We'll see what kind of look we can make with it. I feel like I'm fairly confident we can like come up with something decent for this. I can get the tape off. Okay, what look do we want to try to create? Um, so I might try to do like a pinky look. I'll start with this one and then maybe put this in the crease. That or I was thinking about like using these ones. A more bronzy look, but go with my pink cheeks. I think I might use these two colors. I usually start with putting like the lighter shade kind of all over the eye just so there's like something there and then I'll blend into it the darker shade throughout like the crease. That's pretty. I feel like it's a total different color than like what I just picked up. Like the color here looks totally different on my eye, but I think it still looks pretty. You guys probably can't even see this. I'm gonna try to zoom you in. I actually feel like it looks better in the mirror than it does on here. I feel like I wouldn't like mind wearing this eyeshadow look out. I'm gonna put more of the lighter color in the middle. This is what we're working with. I don't think it's too bad. What's up, Jeffy? Say hi. That <laughs> Okay. Okay guys, I have an LA Colors felt tip eyeliner, which felt tip eyeliners scare me in general just because I feel like they're not that forgiving. I don't know, I get scared by them. I usually do my eyeliner like with eyeshadow. Like I'll take a thin little brush and just tap it in there and kind of make a little look. But we're gonna be brave today. And I'm gonna attempt to put some eyeliner on. If this looks bad though, it may not be the thing's fault. Also, I'd give the eyeshadow, I mean, it's a dollar twenty-five, so I feel like I'd give it, like you could make, you could make it work. I'd give that one like a seven. Oh guys, I'm scared to do this. I tell you what. Huh, <gasps> guys, I'm weird. Okay, so far I'm pretty impressed with the eyeliner. I'm actually super impressed with how dark this is going on, how smooth it's applying. Like, I think it's actually pretty impressive. So I think this one's kind of, this is kind of a win, the eyeliner. Okay, this is what we're working with for the first eye. I don't think it's terrible. I don't know if I absolutely love it, but now the hardest part, I'm gonna try to mash this on the other side and then I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so I first just wanna say that I am no master at eyeliner, so I feel like this one looks like it's going more of an angle and this one's like going more straight, but you're just gonna have to ignore that. And I will say I feel like this eye got easier like maneuvering it as I got a little bit more used to the pen. But yeah, so far I'm actually most impressed with this. Next, I'm actually kind of excited for this. They have this LA Define and fill brows pencil which is, I think just like a regular pencil that I'll use to like color in a little bit but then there was a stay in shape brow pencil clear wax pen pencil helps shape and tame brows for a flawless look that stays put so anyways okay so I just want to say that this did not come with any kind of sharpener and it's actually like a legit pencil so just note that in case you actually plan to like continue to use this, like they expect you to just have a little sharpener at home. And I go in with this little thing it came with. Shake these suckers. Get you guys in here a little bit better. See what I'm doing. I like never use a brow pencil. I always just use eyeshadow. I use eyeshadow for my eyeliner. I use eyeshadow for my eyebrows. Okay, so I definitely don't use pencils a lot. I feel like the formula is pretty hard. Like I'm pressing pretty hard to get anything to show up. Like on my hand, I have to like but that's just me doing it lightly. So if I actually want to get like a color, I have to kind of draw pretty hard. But I feel like it's, it gets the job done. So I'm going to go in and do this one real quick. And then we'll try the little wax stay put stuff. Okay, how interesting. So at the top it has the wax. And then I guess you can sharpen it. I think that's what this is. You can like sharpen the wax. Even though it like, it does like scroll up. But it gives you like, is this like a sharpener? Should we try it? 
Oh, you guys, I like this. I think this is really cool because sometimes throughout the day, you know, you'll hit your face or whatever and your eyebrow, like, will have a hair weird. And I feel like this is super easy. Like, I just like, I'm just putting it on and I feel like everything's gonna stay in place. Okay, next I'm gonna try their mascara. This is a Wet n Wild mascara called Enhance and Define. I don't know, the brush looks like a thin little one, which I think I usually like. Oh, how interesting. We'll see, we'll see what she does. Oh dear, but not many things actually going on. It's pretty dry. Okay, I think that's as good as we're getting. I definitely had higher expectations from even like a cheap mascara. This was like awful, but luckily I did see it. They have like a bunch of different eyelash options. This is from a company called, I might butcher this, Ioni. I don't know, but these look super cute. I could not find any glue there for the life of me though, so I'm just gonna be using my eyelash glue, but I am super excited just to see what these lashes look like on. They look really pretty. These ones are natural light wispy and it says 100% handmade. Okay, there's the first lash. I don't think it looks bad. I think if I had done my eyeliner better to begin with, it would look better, but I'm definitely not mad at it. I think it looks like really pretty. Okay, the other side is on. I think they look pretty decent. I will say when I usually put on lashes, I like the bands that are clear just because I feel like a little bit more forgiving. I don't know, I feel like they bend easier. This one's a little bit more firm, but I know there's like expensive lashes that have a more firm band. So I don't know if that's something to dock it down for. I think it just comes down to personal preference. So yeah, I think these are decent. They had like a bunch of different styles and I think they're pretty. They were easy enough to put on. Very like, yeah, natural and like whimsy. They're pretty long. So last but not least, here on the list i have a lipstick that i got and this was like the like the one shade i could find that wasn't like crazy red or like i don't know something that i felt like i might wear they had like bright reds or like really bright pinks so this one's in la colors called clarity and it's a lip duo so it has like a lipstick and then i think you're like supposed to be able to put like the clear on top so we'll see how this looks I feel like it smells a little weird wow okay this color is <laughs> This is not for me. Oh my gosh. I thought it would look a little bit better. Oh dear. Well, let's see if the gloss helps it out. I will say it's not sticky or anything, but I feel like it didn't really do much either. That really wrapped up the look, I will just say. Like, I feel like we could have gotten away with everything, but maybe not. Maybe not. I feel like we started off on a bad note ever since the foundation did not do anything good for us. So anyways, here's the final look. I don't know. Like, I feel like I could go to the store and not have anyone, like, look at me like, what the heck? But at the same time, if anyone that I personally knew saw me, they'd probably be like, what the heck? Yeah, there were, like, a couple things that I thought were decent. I think this was good. The brow wax was good. Brow pencil was all right. Blush, you know, did a blush, did some blushing. You do kind of get what you pay for, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was fun to film, and I'm definitely gonna wipe this off immediately just because I feel so gross. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and like the video and let me know down below if you thought this video was fun and other things you'd want to see. Alrighty guys, I love you so much. Here's a little close up in case you guys wanted to see a little closer. Until next time, bye. Alrighty guys, we hope you love that video. We have been working on something that we're super excited about. It's for everyone who has always wanted to be a YouTuber. Yeah guys, we created a course on how to be a YouTuber and how we basically were successful being a YouTuber and building our channel and it's everything that we wish we would have known on day one that we want to help you guys out with so if you're interested in becoming a youtuber and need help make sure you click that link down below because it's on sale and you don't want to miss out